Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about process statement. Process statement is a mandatory field in the behavioral modeling of the programming. So, as I told in the previous videos, there are three different styles of HTML programming available. One is behavioral model, second one is structural model, and third one is data flow model. So, in behavioral model, we are writing the code completely based upon the truth table. Okay, like if else statement and case statement, like process statements will come. So, in process, we will write all the code in the process. Uh, whereas in the data flow model, we are writing the programming completely based on the Boolean expressions. Okay, very simple uh, programming language is a data flow model. And the last one is a structural model. In structural model, we completely write the VHDL code based upon the internal structure of the internal structure of the programming okay suppose if you are taking a full adder uh, what are the internal components we are using on all those uh, internal components we will write individual coding so later we will combine them and port mapping to get the original final main programming so this process statement it is used in behavioral behavioral model of VHDL programming VH model of VHDL programming okay so what is the syntax of this process statement syntax so process is having process label process may have a process label process underscore label colon process underscore label colon this is in optional braces see this is optional whichever the bracket whichever line i am using this bracket that bracket represents optional condition okay we can use this or we may not use this that depends on our interest process process and we are having sensitive list here sensitive sensitivity sensitivity list nothing but all input variables sensitivity is nothing but all input variables and also we are having is 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 also optional is is also optional so process label process sensitivity list is so generally we use process of input statements all the input lines suppose a b c are the inputs then process of a b c that's it okay if you want to add is you can add it otherwise you can also suppose if your behavioral coding may have lot of processors several n number of processors then n1 n2 n3 in such cases to call that particular process statement we are using label okay and process item declaration process item declarations process item declarations so this is also optional not mandatory next one begin when you open a process you should begin that you should begin begin so sequential statements lot of sequential statements will come those sequential statements are first one is variable variable assignment statements variable assignment statement statement signal assignment statement signal assignment statement weight statement all these are several sequential statements wait statement if statement case statement case statement null statement loop statement exit statement next statement
assertion statement assertion statement report statement report statement procedure call statement procedure call statement return statement return statement and after all the sequential statements are completely written in this process we should end it end process end space process if you are initialized with a process label that label you need to represent here so that's why process underscore label suppose if you have given process label that you should you should again recall it okay these are the different statements that we should use in the process statement now let us see individually what is what first one is variable assign statement variable assignment statement so first variable assignment statement so variable assignment statement so here the variables can be declared and used inside a process statement when you are declaring the process statement inside we can use inside we can use variables so variables are represented by syntax for the variable declaration syntax variable object variable object here variable signals are objects variable object colon is equal to expression colon is equal to expression so for example for example process for example process of a process of a variable variable events on a events on a colon integer colon equal to 1 integer colon equal to 1 okay so this is some example uh, suppose if you want to use that in the process statement begin events on a is equal to colon equal to events on a plus 1 and process and process okay so variable object is assigned as variable some object name colon is equal to expression colon is equal to expression generally the expression shares what is the initial value and next one signal assignment statement signal assignment statement so signal assignment statement same like your same like your uh, variable assignment statement so first let us see the syntax of this one syntax of the signal So syntax is signal object object less than or equal to means assignment operator expression after so this is an optional condition after some delay value of after some delay value this is optional if you want to include you can include otherwise you can discard this so signal object less than or equal to expression signal object less than or equal to expression suppose signal example signal a less than or equal to some value some value signal a less than or equal to um, some one zero one zero after ten 
nanoseconds. That means after 10 nanoseconds, the A will be appended with this value 1010. 10. Okay. And in some cases, we also represent like signal A. Signal A colon is std underscore logic underscore vector. Suppose if it is a vector representation of 3 down to 0. 3 down to 0. This is another way to represent a variable as a signal in the process statement. And next one is weight statement. Weight statement. So, weight statement, weight statement is nothing but its syntax is, its syntax is weight statement is used to stop the programming execution for that period. Okay, that line when it comes to that line that a program will be weighted for that particular duration. So, weight on, weight on sensitivity list, weight on sensitivity list wait until or it is also written as wait on or wait until boolean expression wait until boolean expression wait for wait for time expression wait for time expression so these are the examples of the wait a statement in the process statement. So, let us see the example on this weight. So, weight on input a sensitivity list like weight on A, B, C and weight until A is equal to B. Boolean expression is nothing but it may be equal condition like A equal to B. Weight for time 10 nanoseconds. For example, if you see weight on Wait on sensitivity list input conditions inputs just input variables wait until wait until I am saying b equal to c wait until b equal to c so the process has to uh, repeatedly done until this condition is true so uh, wait until b is equal to c and wait for wait for 10 nanoseconds wait for 10 nanoseconds, 10 nanoseconds, 5 nanoseconds, this is a time delay. So, time expression is given after wait, that means this much of duration the signal has to wait its execution. And next we will be having if statement, if statement. So, when you are writing a code in behavioral modeling, I told you the behavioral model code writes on the truth table. So, in truth table, we are writing generally if I suppose two input variables are there a, b and output is the y. So, a, b how we are writing when 0, 0, this is the output 0, 1, this is the output 1, 0, 1, 1. Like this, we will write to the conditions. Okay. So, if a is equal to 0, b equal to 0, then the output is like this. If a equal to 0, b equal to 1, then the output is like this. So, at that condition, definitely we have to use the if else statement. Okay. So, if statement syntax is, so syntax, syntax for if statement. So, if boolean expression, if some boolean expression, then, then, so again we will be having several sequential statements. Else if, else if, E L S I F. Okay, it does not have E. Please note that E L S if Boolean expression again the same. Suppose if the first condition fails, if the first condition fails, then the second line will execute. So Boolean expression then again several set of sequential statements will execute sequential statements and next again else sequential statements and then all these sequential statements are in optional condition and then end if 
and if as a sequential statement so if boolean expression we are giving then sequential statements again else if, if that boolean expression is not current again it goes to the second line again if this condition is also not true then it goes to the else condition so else else means for all the cases other than the two mentioned above okay so else the sequential circuit sequential statements and simply it is and if okay suppose for example example if a nor b if a nor b is equal to 1 then then i am saying z is equal to 1 after some time like 10 nanoseconds like that else if else if else if is not required only one condition means no need to take else if, if two or three conditions are there two or more conditions are there then we have to go for the else operation so else, uh, else if operation else 0 is equal to 0 0 less than equal to 0 whenever you are using a single bit then you have to show that in the single quotation so 0 equal to 0 after some time 10 nanoseconds okay this is the example for the this is the example for the if else statement okay so remaining uh, statements i will explain in the next video thank you